All right, we got an electro freeze unit here that is old and has been abused uh, at its previous location. And it was purchased and brought to a new location. And they've done a lot into trying reviving it, but they said it just doesn't have the performance. It doesn't freeze well, it doesn't, so. But lots of things to look at. You want these to swing freely, not do that. So there's a little O-ring here. That's gotta come off, we'll lubricate this. This is what you want. All right, let me bring you up to speed. Um, the right side wouldn't pump at all, so we, no, not night mode, thanks. We ask it to turn the pump on and it just won't do it. So if this is off, it won't do it, but it'll tell you pump cover, right? So then the only, uh, well, not the only, but the other thing is, is the pressure switch is what turns it on and off. So if we go into technician menu and we go to actual readings, you'll notice here on the right side, the pump shows open. Uh oh. So that's our pressure switch. And this is actually an original pressure switch where the newer versions require a wiring harness uh, and to do a little bit of board navigation, you've got to cut these black and white wires, which there's one barely connected, so we need to get rid of that. So this pressure switch is not reading. Uh, it's not reading pressure, which is why it won't turn the pump on. So these black and or these brown and blue wires are the pressure switch, and I'm going to show you. To it's just a signal; it's not sending voltage. So if I send this and I jump that, now I show pressure. There's not really pressure, but I show pressure because. I jumped the switch. That lets me know that the the board is putting out the voltage. Now, is the wire broken? I took this and I wired it to over there and I could see 33 PSI here. So my wire is good. I've got a bad pressure switch. And unfortunately, to change, you have to put in the new pressure switch that requires the harness. It costs way more. So for now, this right side's not waking back up but they've been having underproducing issues on the left side. So we're gonna go ahead and fill this with milk. We've done this as sanitizer, and we're gonna go ahead and fill it up and see what we best. Do. Here's the best one ever, you ready? So, uh, they don't have any ice cream. They don't have any mix. They're, they're waiting on it to come in today, but they don't know when. So I'm supposed to fix an ice cream machine uh, without ice cream. Good times. Good times.